Hey guys, Tyler2k here, and today we're going to take a look at the June Kazama trailer. Please note that Tekken 8 is an unreleased product, so everything and anything can change by the final release date. And be sure to check out my mechanics breakdown as well. In T8, June has a new stance that I call Con. Now whether that means concentration, consecration, or constitution, it doesn't really matter because I'm using it as shorthand. Now what we do know is that Khan will allow June to recover health. Now whether this is recoverable gauge or real HP, we still don't know. But it will be a major part of her game, as shown in the trailer. June opens with a 4-4-2 that can now enter into Khan stance. She then cancels Khan into a sidestep 1 plus 2-2. Predicting Jin might attack, June interrupts with some sort of full crouch down back 1-1 one, one attack. And look how far Jin is thrown, it's absurd. June punishes with a new wall stand 1-1 one, one, that now hits on I-12 and no longer requires to go into 10th stream. Instead, she enters into Gen stance where she performs Gen 4. Jin tries to duck jab but gets stuffed by June's 3 plus 4 that now leads to a pillar of light attack. And speaking of pillars of light, June performs new up forward 2-2 two, two launcher, looking very similar to Unknown's up forward 2-1 series. June's forward 4 doesn't cause spin, but leaves Jin close enough to follow up with a new forward 3-4. She then finishes the combo with a deep dash back Q1 into a con 2. But let's go ahead and break down this breakdown because there is a lot to see right here. First and foremost, we see the purple energy. This signifies that this move is a heat engager, which means the attack can be cancelled on hit to go into immediate forced 50-50. You might also notice that Jun leans very far forward and makes a dramatic stance because con 2 looks almost identical to Claudio back forward 2 which is very suiting, seeing as how Claudio Rage Drive was probably the test bench for quite a few of these mechanics. Like her duck jab, June has some sort of one jab into immediate follow-up. She then performs a new up forward 4-3 that leads to a beam of light attack, splatting Jin into the wall. This enters Khan stance, where June cancels Khan with a Khan 1, looking very similar to Izu 2. On counter hit, June's up forward 2 is a single hit spin launcher, she then dashes up and spikes Kazuya into the ground with her heat burst, following up with a new down forward 1-2 series, ending with a down forward 2 that can lead to Gen, where she performs new Gen 1 plus 2 that's a power crushing attack throw. Chun's forward 2 has been replaced, instead is now a forward 2-1, causing a pillar of light and also heat engager, which seems to guarantee heat smash, summoning a murder of crows to attack Kazuya. Kazuya's 1 plus 2 is punished by June's 1 plus 2, which is now a heat engager. June then follows up with a new homing mid, presumably down forward 3. Kazuya tries to rebut, but June performs special heat parry, looking very similar to unknowns. This automatically enters Khan's stance, where she enters into Gen, where she performs an EX Gen 1, leading to attack throw. Now there's two things to recognize here. Firstly, we see the Ravens again, as June channels her evil side. And lastly, as she completes her attack, notice how she loses heat mode, which means the attack either costs heat to perform or is a second heat smash attack. June sidestep 4 on counter hit turns into a full launcher when heat dashed, where she follows up with a forward 3, forward 1 plus 2 into a new Izu 1 1, causing spin, finishing into a forward forward 1 plus 2, causing slide away ender. June's Izu 2 is now a single hit spin launcher. Now, whether this requires counter hit, is yet to be seen, but here it leads to her rage heart. June transports Kazuya to some sort of light dimension, where she can cleanse his evil by exploding her palm through Kazuya's chest, 